<gasps> now he's feeling flirty again. He's kind of cute. They're such a good match for each other because he's like very into curating stuff. See, they're becoming friends. Oh, he just dropped his noodles into his lap. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening! Hey! <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand why this is his favorite spot to nap. <laughs> They're getting along. <laughs> They're getting along pretty good. Oh, he's married. Oh, he's married? Bye. She has the worst luck with men. Why is there so much food in this house? She's currently spying on the neighbors. All right. Hey, we got two first kisses. He's kind of cute for like a late night serial killer. <gasps> You're getting out of bed? Oh, he's good. No! No! I can't. He's like, hurry, get up. Who's, why is she stink facing outside of our home? That's what you get for hanging out outside of our house and stink facing, girl. He's like, ugh, I have to go see this guy again. This visual. <laughs> it's dead straight dawn he's getting his groove on in the bar oh he hates us oh it's because he caught me flirting okay let's see oh no he peed himself go home So he is off today. Today is his one day off. So he's going to host a dinner party tonight. And it's going to be really, really fun. Last time, Mia Mama didn't really do very much. She's just over here having a poop. She didn't really do much last time. So it'll be interesting to see what if she accomplishes anything. She's kind of been the wild card. I think we all kind of thought that Mia was going to be this really interesting character when she came in. And I feel like all of us have been a little surprised that she hasn't done very much. Do not go in that bathroom. Oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> GeekCon is tonight. Oh my gosh. GeekCon. I want to go to GeekCon. But the dinner party. This is such a good opportunity for Mia. She hasn't progressed her her storyline at all. Like, she hasn't done anything. This is Planet Honey Pop. Look how cool it is. Oh my goodness. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh, it's Darth Maul. What is she doing? She's inspired right now. I gotta be honest. When I sent her to GeekCon, I did not think she was gonna go to karaoke alone. Whoa! Yo, look at all this. Look how cool this is. Oh, she's, uh, she's chatting with the toilet. Where's Darth Maul? We should romance him. There he is. He's like, oh, there's a cute gamer girl that wants to meet me? I'm down. Oh, she made him come to her. She was like, I want to meet you, but you're coming over here, binge. Where is he? Where is he? Embarrassed? Where is he? <laughs> he's gone again. Yeah, he's gone, gone. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to meet that girl. Also, it's getting kind of late, so she's going to have to leave soon. Arsufa. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how cute she looks. Okay, let's go ahead and play on the computer while we wait for Darth Maul. She can participate in Hackathon. I feel like that's something she would be very interested in. Not the old school dial-up. Victor wants to chat with her. 
She reached level two in programming. Oh, look at him! He's kind of cute! I'm really feeling this festival. I don't see Darth Maul. He's gone, gone. What a bummer. Watch, it was Hollister in disguise. It was secretly Hollister, like, hiding out here. Could you imagine? She, like, gets back to the house, and Hollister's, like, quickly trying to wipe off the Darth Maul makeup. And she finds him in the bathroom, and she sees the red streaks in the sink. And she says, are you the Darth Maul that was at the convention? And he's slowly removing a horn from the top of his head, and he said, no, that wasn't me. And she said, I thought that Darth Maul was really sexy. And then they kiss. I like that Hollister is just hanging out over here, just shirtless. And <laughs> Wendy is too. They're just both hanging out in their night clothes. Okay, house party, dinner party. It's a gold event. Let's freaking go. Samantha Karen is not happy. What is she unhappy about? Oh, she smells bad. Oh, she's angry. Still furious with someone nearby. Just the sight can fill a sim with rage. Oh my gosh, it's her! Oh my gosh! Oh my, oh my gosh, it's that girl! Do you remember her and, and Samantha got into a fight because she came and was doing stank faces outside the house? And so Samantha went and beat the crap out of her. We have to thank the guests for coming. Oh my gosh, look at Wendy! Look at Wendy. Look at this outfit. Look at this outfit. Oh my goodness. I forgot. I hate it. What's Denny? <gasps> oh no. Remember that creepy serial killer that he met and he hooked up with upstairs and then he kicked him out after, after Eagle came home? He wants to come over. Let's cook a gourmet meal. We're gonna we're gonna have some pasta primavera. That's gonna be the dinner party size. We'll do party of eight. Uh, Mia, what are you doing? This is <laughs> you're gonna eat a microwave pastry. This is a dinner party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, mm -hmm, I am. I cannot believe that Denny. Oh, he fell asleep in Hollister's favorite napping spot, and his secret boyfriend is coming over. Where's Jay Worthington? Unless he went upstairs. That's possible. He went upstairs to go meet everyone. I'm just like, oh, hey, remember me? I came in here the other night. I uh, snuck out at two in the morning. Had sex right in that bed. <gasps> Who fell asleep? Oh my gosh. This dude came over, invited himself over, and went straight to bed. Let's, uh, let's brighten his day. He's so mad. Look how pressed he is. But he does kind of still look like a serial killer, even in this outfit. We got to check on Ego. He's confident. He's feeling... Ah! <laughs> I hate this. Okay, let's clean this up. Can someone come clean this up? This is gross. Okay, so there's the food. Should he make a dessert, too? I feel like he should. Oh, Denny just passed out. Denny just passed out. Look how fun this is. We need music. We need music. We can't have a dinner party without music. Let's go ahead and get a nice speaker in here. I've, I'm really curious what S-pop is. Cute. Oh, this is cute. Hey, what a bop. This is a bop. Okay, let's have it. He wants to make more drinks. Oh my gosh, look at them. Tend bar. We'll have him make more drinks. Actually, no, we'll have him make drinks. Oh my gosh, Samantha! Samantha, why? Why are you in this outfit for this party? Did he really just pass out again? Ass up. In front of his boyfriend and his hidden boyfriend. I mean, it looks good. It looks real good. Like, how dare he? This is Ego's moment. Now is no better time than any other. Oh my gosh, the dinner party was, like, fine. It was... Oh, oh. Ego's gotta be. 
Oh my gosh! They did it! In his bear costume! It's suggestive now. Look at Toro just booty popping right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy for him! I wasn't sure if he would have a friend romance because he was like a lone wolf, but he and Toro are so cute together. Okay, now Ego's got to make the decision right now. Not only did freaking Denny let his secret boyfriend come over, he passed out ass up in the dining room in front of everybody. This was Ego's moment. Denny is just like pushing his luck. And Ego is just like, oh, he's pooping. I feel like Ego deserves better. He's had it. He deserves so much better. We're done. We're over. That's what you get for ruining everything. Denny just broke up with Ego. Ego broke up with Denny! What? How did that happen? Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this off. This, is, this music is too much. <laughs> what? Why did it say that? Denny is now uncomfortable. He's very uncomfortable. He's exhausted. He's, un he's in an unpleasant surrounding. But the party was good and he's single again. Which seems kind of like a piss move to me. Look at that. It feels great to be out of that <laughs> stuffy relationship. <gasps> oh, how mean. What is Wendy doing? She should maybe clean up a little bit. This place is kind of filthy. Honestly, truly, poor ego. Let's put that away. Actually, before she does, she should take a piece. You deserve it. That looks like a very good cake, though. I feel like it would be kind of a gag if he decides, like, it's the middle of the night. I'm out. Samantha needs one more declared enemy. She could maybe beat the crap out of Denny for hurting Ego's feelings. Declare him an enemy, and then he leaves. Okay, we're going to wake him up. She's just getting out of the shower. She's nice and fresh. She's like, I just showered in your bathroom, bitch. She's like, hey, wake up. Get over here. More choices. We're going to yell at him for being mean. She's like, how could you break Ego's heart like that? How could you hurt him like this? Oh my gosh, she just farted! She just farted and blew it in his direction. Oh my gosh, where did she get that drink? Where did she get all that fruit punch? Get out of here, Denny. Get out. Denny Breakfast is getting into his fist in his first fight. Samantha Karen's very good at fighting. I like that she's fighting in this big ass dress, by the way. This is for hurting ego. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's like, eh, he kind of deserves it. Fight again. Look at him. He's like, eh, he deserved it. Declare enemy. They're now enemies. <laughs> Poor ego. Let's go ahead and separate from the home. I really feel like he should eat some cake. It's 6 a.m. Now is the time for cake. Let's make somebody new. Let's get into his aspirations. Oh my gosh, look at this. I, I love and hate it. Oh, oh, that's it. That's the one right there. That's kind of cute. I actually like that. Let's give him a different color hair. <gasps> Green! Who wants to name him? Simicado? <laughs> An avocado! Although I do- okay. What about Avo? What if his name was Avocado? <sighs> yes, Binch! I'm obsessed with him. Here we go. I wonder how the dynamic is gonna change with him being here now. I feel like it'll shift in a more positive direction, because as much as I love Denny, he brought such a chaotic energy to the house. Oh, he already went outside to start grilling. He said, hello, I live here now. I'm going to make some food. Let's meet Ego. Let's do a heartfelt compliment. He seems nice. 
We should have a house party. Let's do a house party. We'll bring in everyone. Oh, no, wait. We don't want to invite Denny. Would that be awkward? <laughs> Could you imagine if Wendy invited Denny and was like, hey, come on over. Come on over and meet the guy that just replaced you. Oh my gosh, who? This is, she's stunning. Nina? <gasps> oh my gosh. She is stunning. Where's the mixologist? I thought I hired someone for that. Where's all the other party people? Are they all upstairs? Are they lurking around upstairs? Oh my gosh, they're all in the bathroom! Also, why are you just on the computer? <laughs> Jay Huntington said, okay, I'm gonna go back to Shade House, but I'm gonna get on the computer. I'm gonna look up their search history. Who's this? Who's you? Who are you? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's kind of cute. What is his name? Oh, he's the mixologist. He's late. He is late. We hired you hours ago. Look at, look at Avo. <laughs> look at Avo. <laughs> this is going well. It's actually not as uncomfortable as I thought. All right, this party wasn't a complete disaster. Although I do have to say, it's kind of rude that Denny is still here and hasn't left yet. <laughs> this music is too much. He's like, excuse you, home wrecker. I need to go say hi to my boyfriend. Are you kidding me, Wendy? Also, the caterer got here so late. And look at all this food that they made. Look at all this mac and cheese. I see that the caterer is just as much into food waste as the rest of the Sims are in this house. Oh. Okay, well, I came up right as they were finishing. Samantha Karen has passed the F out on a bench outside. She said, I don't want to go sleep in my comfortable bed. I'm going to go sleep on this park bench. I mean, she is in public. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. It's that girl. It's the mad dog girl. <laughs> it's the enemy. <gasps> we're going to fight her. <laughs> Get up. Get up from the bench. <laughs> this is a declared enemy. They have to fight every time they see each other. <laughs> every time. it's She's got to fight her. Oh my gosh. Did she lose? Oh, she's feeling dazed. It's a vet. Oh my gosh, look at this kid that's just walking around alone out here. You shouldn't be walking around. There's a crazy lady on a bench right over here. Hurry, kid, get away. Get away while you still can. Okay, I think that's a good stopping place. We need to figure out what we're going to do with Avocado. He seems like kind of just like a chill, low-key member, which I'm not mad about. I'm kind of liking his energy. He's just like very... There's like no drama. He's like just going to chill and like vibe, I think. Like much like Wendy, who's just a vibe... Like, I don't think either one of them are going to give us a lot of drama, but they're going to have fun. You know, they're going to be a fun time. I'm excited to eventually get into Hollister's wedding event. I'm curious, are we going to move him out after they get married? And if so, that means we're going to have another member coming in soon. And also, if we kind of get Samantha Karen to a, a good place, how are we feeling about letting her go too? Like, it'd be kind of a gag if Samantha and Hollister both leave in the same episode. That'd be crazy. So we get two new people that would come in. It's gonna be kind of fun. Um, Ego, I feel like we still have some time with him. I don't think he's ready to leave. I think he's he's got some stuff that he needs to process through. He needs to work on his trust issues. And we need to find someone for him. Someone good for him that's not gonna betray him like Denny did. And Wendy needs to stop inviting Denny and Jay over. <laughs> it's inappropriate, <laughs> but it's really, it's really very funny. But thank you again so much for everybody who hung out today. Bye.